There is something magical about the trees of Detroit. These trees have much to teach us about respecting the wisdom of people, of place, of history. The relationship between people and trees has often been difficult here. From deforestation centuries ago to bankruptcy fueled neglect more recently. But the destiny of people and trees remain entwined here in Detroit. The trees in our neighborhoods are sacred. They breathe out oxygen to keep us alive. They connect us to past humanity. Too often, we treat our trees as disposable. A city the size of Detroit is likely to remove between 10,000 to 20,000 trees per year due to natural causes like tree age and weather events or for urban development. In the past, trees dominated the landscape, but now, after decades of exploitation and deforestation, the trees, the beavers, the buffaloes, all gave their lives to build cities, to be used and disposed of without respect. What if we decided not to mulch or throw these trees away, but find a way to extend their lives meaningfully? Various countries in Africa have a distinctive material culture where masks, drums, and sculptures hold stories. Wisdom is embedded and passed down through these objects and the stories they hold. Listen to the drum. It is an invitation, calling you to find a way to extend the lives and the stories of Detroit's trees. I'm Neil Barclay, President and CEO of the Charles H. Wright Museum of African American History. As the Wright opens up to transforming trees by extending their life, we are extremely proud to be involved in the environmental sustainability space with CCS students. In collaboration with partners like the College for Creative Studies, our efforts are designed to educate and promote the importance of healthy communities. The D-Tree Studio Project is a collaboration between CCS and the Wright Museum. The project seeks to respect and lengthen the lives of trees by co-creating a course experience for students and the community. In 2018, the Wright Museum found several dead and dying Zocoba trees on their campus. Instead of mulching or adding the trees to the landfill, the Wright Museum reached out to CCS to try to find a way to use them sustainably. Trees have much to say, and we really do need to listen. As the artist experiences this encounter, so does the tree. We wish the artist to listen to the tree, to be informed of its life, and to use that experience to extend the life of the tree. This requires humility and reverence. Join us on this journey. Attend our Treposium Tuesday, September 21st and our final exhibition in January 2022. Visit our website dtree.me for more information.